you got to see them today. I see Patriot Roydy. Gotcha. Yeah, they try to block them out. Hey, Mr. Chilcoat, how you doing? Pretty good, how are you? Thank you for that super chat. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. Good to hear from you, too. I'm here with Frank. Thank yep, you. Yep, Frank Justino here with Don. Thought I'd uh, chime in here. Hey, boys. Hey, 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 Patriots. All right, let me check the settings really quick. It's uh, Don's here. It's uh, I'll read it for him. Got our paper here. It's gibsongo.com slash chillcoat. That's C H I L C O A T. That's gibsongo.com slash chillcoat. C H I L C O A T. Uh, Don's last name is kind of, it, it, it reminds me of, you know, just like someone who's chilly and needs a coat. So that's kind of an easy way to remember it there. So I think it's, it's really fair. Yeah, it's the first thing I thought of when I saw it. But yeah, so uh, I've been with Don, and then I'll let Don talk just because I was with him because we, we've been uh, together pretty much since the transfer from Oklahoma. Uh, he was in the county there, I was in the hub, and that's how we made our way to D.C. by plane. Um, funny enough, we ended up on the same aisle together. We didn't even know that we were both, you know, associated with January 6th when we were sat down, and I don't think that was intentional. So um, that was pretty pretty remarkable that we just happened to be sitting right next to each other uh, unintended. And then um, when we made it to the grounds, we were in the same transfer with me, Don, and his wife, uh, Sean Dell, and me and Sean Dell really hit it off. We, we knew a lot about the same stuff going on. And, uh, you know, Don was with us too, we were all talking, and uh, yeah, then we made it to the D.C. jail, and uh, Don, if you want to tell more about your situation, what's going on, and, you know, why you wanted to set up the, the Gibson Go with your family. Well, it's, uh, with both of us being locked up, there's no income coming in, so any help would be appreciated. Oh, uh, Oliver. I know there's a lot of good people out there, there's a lot of good Come people here. in here, so... Come here. Uh, it's just hard with both of us being locked up. Ooh. And I got my buddy Frank. <laughs> yeah, we've been together for sick and thin so far since Oklahoma. So I've been taking care of Don, and he's been, uh, you know, we've been, we were in, we were in intake, uh, you know, down in D.C. before we we were up CTF and uh, C3A and the, uh, you know, the J6 Gulag here. The, the pod so we were keeping each other uh, you know we were across from each other we were putting cells across from each other to the intake you know solitary so we were trying to keep each other uh, you know experience <laughs> we were told for maybe what a few days i think if we like that we were going to be transferred they didn't transfer us until i think a few days after at least four days after they said they were, they were originally yeah so it was kind of kind of the torture because <laughs> we were ready to go we had our stuff packed up and they never actually came for us until days later but not not to sound like a soft story but we, you know we were trying to get the laugh at it too because we were just you, you don't laugh and cry you know so yeah. uh, we're just happy to be out of there and uh you know we've been trying to just kind of keep each other you know smiling and like i said his wife uh you know if it wasn't for her being put in a separate place um in here uh we'd all be you know hanging out but um i just want to uh, attest for don and his wife they're really good people really smart really uh you know um well intended and uh you know they just like the rest of it don't uh, you know deserve it so just uh, I'll let you know in one minute. okay sure yeah Mr. so um so yeah so hey. yeah yes all right so where are y'all from <laughs> Oh, Ohio. You're from Ohio. Yeah, we got, yes. Got three kids, uh, six grandkids. Uh, and we just normal people going out there. And, you know, just all this came to us and we wasn't wanting that, but that wasn't our intention when we went there. But we're dealing with it. There's a lot of good people in here. Uh, couldn't ask for better people, I guess. And we got a lot of patriots here. And good people, if you need anything, they'll give it to you, help you out. So 
I guess that's about all you can ask for, be around good people. Well, let's let's repeat your Gibson go one more time, Mr. Chilcote. Look out. Uh, it's uh, givesendgo.com slash, and the last name is Chilcote, C-H-I-L-C-O-A-T. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Yes. And, you know, you guys got that? we yeah. do, we do. And we have some really great people that are out there online that uh, will... Uh, They'll probably find it and post it out there. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just so sorry. I know this is so hard on your family and uh, on you and your wife. And, you know, we have a lot of patriots praying for you, sir. Uh, I thank you. Yeah, Don, Don's a really good guy. I could uh, say that firsthand. I really, he's one of my favorite people here. And, he, he, you know, um, he's making the best of it. So, you know, he's smiling every day and, uh, you know, he, he loves the DC food here. He's hoping to be how much he loves. No, he hates it. He hates it. So, but uh, hopefully that, that'll change soon. We got commissary tomorrow. So anything that could help his commissary too, even a little bit goes a long way, you know? <laughs> All right, Mr. Chilko, we already have somebody that has posted your gifts and go. So, you know, like I said, we have super fast patriots out here that you know sometimes it's not a lot they can give but they do give everything they can uh, i appreciate it we got good kids outside helping us too so we'll make it through it yep well i'm glad you still have family and people that care about you that that does go you know it matters a lot but to have you and your wife locked up at the same time that that's that is got to be really hard Oh my gosh, David. Yeah, it's not easy. Like it's not again. But I think she's strong. Oh, she's know. making it through it, so uh, we'll make the best out of it. Keep going forward. Is she and here? Is she here in DC? Oh, no, he's got. Yes. There's no place for the women J sector, so they got her locked up with uh, in the the medical. Well, yeah, will be part of CTF. So the, the medical wing, I guess it's where the, there's the more of the mental side, side of things are. So, um, you know, I, unfortunately, I don't know if Sean Dell has the same sort of uh, accommodations uh, as we do here. Um, but, um, you know, she's hanging in there. I met her personally, and she's really strong. You know, the short time that I've, I've been able to personally talk with her. Uh, so we're, we're just hoping that everybody gets what they you know, deserve, which is justice soon, you know, including Sean Bell. So she's, she's doing what she can. She's actually also, I wanted to say this too, she's, she's currently, I don't know if it's going to change that, but uh, she's representing um, both herself and Don in their in their case. So she's actually, uh, I would say, pro se. She's pro se right now? Right now, yes, we are. Right. So they're pro se right now. That's something that wasn't brought up. So that's, you know, it takes a lot of, I'm pro se as well. I just had my sentencing uh, just last week. And uh, it takes a lot, you know, a lot of guts to represent yourself in this sort of situation. So I, uh, you know, I really chalk it up to uh, Sean Dell and uh, Don, their their diligence and their their uh, you know thirst for uh, justice in this matter. You know, so so Frank, props to her. Frank, people want to know if you have a give send go. Do you have a give send go? I do. Uh, thanks for asking. I wasn't going to say it, but I will gladly say it on here. Um, it's gives and go, uh, what is it, dot com, uh, slash Frank, that's F-R-A-N-K, Rocco, R-O-C-C-O, -C -C that's two C's, so gives and go, uh, dot com, slash Frank, F-R-A-N-K, Rocco, R-O-C-C-O. That should be it. Um, you know, I, I will. I'm not going to say no to anything. I'll put it to good use. If you guys donate anything, absolutely. Um, I should be serving uh, the rest of my sentence here for the next few weeks, but I will. I'll be sure to put that to good use. Any, any is appreciated, but I especially think uh, I think Don and Sean Bell need it more than me, more than anything. So if, you, if anyone listening needs to choose between the two, please give what you can to Don and uh, and the chill coats. Thank you, uh, That's sweet. Oh my gosh. No problem. 
David Laurie asked if um, it was his wife that got thrown down the stairs, yeah. David, do you know? We need to look out for each other. Lori was asking, so was Frank, it his you wife should that have just a couple more weeks. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And then yeah, you guys going know. back home to where are you from, Frank? Florida. So oh, I was born and raised uh, in New York, uh, North Shore, Long Island. If you couldn't tell from the accent, I don't know if it went through the, uh, <laughs> the it was cleared up over the mic. I uh, then moved to Florida, um, and I was only there a month before I was, uh, you know, had the uh, the so-called bench warrant put out for me. Um, so that was uh, early, you know, September. Late September was that date, and they put out the bench warrant. And uh, so, yes, I really haven't even been able to enjoy Florida much because they, you know, then they they incarcerated me. They took me to Oklahoma, then back to Washington D.C. Uh, so that's where I am. So I'm supposed to be, you know, when I'm released, I'm supposed to go right back to Florida. So um, that's where I'll be. Is that where I know that uh, we met you? I think I believe we met you. America's first wear. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, you guys, you guys met me in New York. Yeah. Yes, yes. We uh, we we all. So I know some of us got to talk longer than others. Um, I did get to say uh, hi to you, Mickey Quick. Uh, I know I said hi to uh, Tammy Quick. Um, and I got to talk yeah. to. Uh, a couple of other, uh, I, I, I'm sorry if I don't remember her names uh, exactly, but mm. yeah, it's America First Warehouse. I was there for a few of the, uh, I was there for the Giuliani event, and I was also there for, sure. I think, a couple of the J6 nights. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I was going to, I was going to talk one of those nights, but things got shuffled around, so I didn't end up getting to talk or anything, but, uh, but yeah, no, I was, I was there. I got to meet you guys. That's right. Yeah. I believe your mom was there too. Nicole remembers meeting y'all and David Valentine. Nice. Yes, and I remember Nicole too. Yes, Nicole too. Uh, yes, my mom was there for the the Giuliani event. So we, uh, we that was the very first night we got to meet a lot of you. So we were we were there. That was fun. <laughs> Freedom. Freedom. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Always. Yeah. I'm gonna send you a message. It's David, so we can finish that project we were working on. David, how have you been? Good, man. Good to hear from you. Aww. Good. I, I missed you, dude. Yeah, we had a good interview that last time. Yeah, no, whatever you want to send me, uh, you know, if you, I don't know, whatever way you want to send it to me, the GTL app that we were talking about. Yeah, I'll send you a message on there. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, I hope everything's been well. I, every time I see uh, Free Fix, uh Media Express in here, I see like a link. I'm like, oh, I'm, I, I love David Valentine. <laughs> Good guy. He's all over the place. He's out here every night. That's nice. Oh yeah, no, he's he's a, he's a true one. You know, I uh, really, you know, he's a really you're a really good guy, David. You know, I I, I have pretty good discernment, and uh, you're one of the real ones for sure. You're a good guy. I really nice. do appreciate the work you did. There you go, David. Thank you. Freedom Corners, David Valentine. We also have Glory B, 1791, yep. Trooper, We the People, MAGA. What's and up? We have a lot of people out here. And, and uh, you know, one of our live streamers has over 2 million watched hours, and David's creeping right up on him. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Keep on keeping on, you know? Every uh, you have one minute remaining. I'll have to check my hours, y'all. You know, we just gotta keep Apparently telling the contest. truth. You know, uh, <laughs> you don't want to expend too, 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 too much of your energy. Give you, give you guys some rest too. Have time to recoup, and then when you got the energy again, you know, just do your best. You know, everyone, even if they play a little small part, getting the truth out. Um, That's right. You know, it helps. You know, it helps the whole consciousness, the whole global consciousness. We're all trying to move towards the same thing, and that. You know, love and unity and, and peace and uh, truth and justice. So we all play our part in that. So just make sure you take care of yourselves, especially. And then when you fill your own cup, you can fill the cup of others, you know? Amen. All right. We'll keep that in mind. God bless you. Definitely. Anything you want to say, John? All right. Thank just you want so to say much. thank you to all of you out there. God bless you. For everything you do for us in here. Well, thank you. Know. God bless you, Patriots. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you for using global. And God bless America, but not Greta.
No. <laughs> Not Greta. I think we had a Pete. Greta has Greta. no gratitude for me. No. <laughs> She's the bearer of bad news. <laughs> he was the man today. He was indignant. Was he sitting there like drinking his water and like like angry, prickly, prickly, and indignant? That's I get indignant about things like that. <laughs> He's but that was embarrassing.